Hello and welcome or welcome back to another video. I am really excited to be doing my Le Seraphim binder updates. I have so much that is going in here. I prepared this video, I don't even know how long ago now, so I hope this goes seamlessly because I did a lot of preparation because it's mainly like the bigger inclusions here today and I'm just praying that I did a good job in what I prepped. Obviously we have perfect night as you can see and I do still have a good little stack of photo cards as well as well as some really exciting like Polaroid winter ones. I don't know, you can see them at the top. I really wanted to showcase them because I'm so excited about them and a lot of other really fun things. So let's get right into it because I don't know how long this is going to take and I hope it isn't forever. Starting with the big binder, I did split it into two which is really exciting. I honestly can't remember what I've updated you on or not because I think the last time I showed these on camera I was filming my year end but I think this is new I do not think I had these mounted in time for that video I'm really happy with how they all look and I have all six of the members so this is from the first moment in your hands these are like the little mini posters they're not quite well they are big they're not quite small enough to fit into the ones that are the two pages or i would have done that so i just individually mounted them all in the one pockets okay first update is going here i've continuously had grievances with this page i don't love how the back of these look so i'm hoping to get two more of them so i can do two that look like this and then two with the photos on the back side as well. So that is my plan. Yeah, I think that will look a lot nicer. I've just, yeah, I don't know why this page bothers me so much. I think I just, I love flipping through it, the whole thing. I feel like if you're here and you've watched my other videos, you already know that I'm like that. So I'll find them another day at some point. If you have any extras, let me know. I'd appreciate it because nobody really lists these anymore because they were non-random inclusions from the compact version of Fearless. Another really exciting problem, I would say, this is a problem, is this one. So this is the, I believe, Aladdin Pob from Fearless Era, obviously, and I have Che Wands. I am trying my best to secure the other ones. It's tough. The Pobs from the debut era are a little bit harder to come across, and even though that is my goal, is to try and collect all of the oddly sized postcard, bookmark style things, it's it's harder than I thought. So I do just have Che ones right now. I think I have two more on the way. I'm trying my best. If you see these anywhere, please let me know because oh, they're also so gorgeous, so gorgeous. It doesn't fit with the cover on it, so I'll have to take it out. But these are Meow Cafe pages, so I do really trust them for their archival quality. I think I have talked about these in the past that I was hoping to get them but wasn't sure because I couldn't really find and secure everybody. I'm still dealing with that, but I found Chaewons and I just decided it's, it's time. I'm sure I can find them eventually over time. It can be a long-term kind of goal, I guess, because I'd love to get all six. Yeah, Aladdin loves the beautiful hollow postcards and I love them too. I think they're so nice. There is another set of postcards like these. I think it's Hot Tracks. I would love to get those and I know that there is another bookmark set. No, I think I have those ones. Yeah, I have those ones. I think they did another bookmark set in this concept in the Midnight Onyx. So no real leads on there and also trying not to make it a priority. Still don't have this. I'm, I think I'm getting closer, but I still don't have it. Same with Eugene's four cut. Yeah, I don't know. One day. I would love to get two more of these. I think I have mentioned it previously, maybe. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. It's just, it's been so long. I feel like I haven't talked like this in a while, but I want two more of these to put back to back so it can be filling up this space. So I did secure two more of these. And I'm wondering if I should do them like this or like this. I'm going to put them like this for now, but I would really like your opinion. What do you think looks better? 
doing them all the hand in the front or flipping two of them around. It does look quite nice like this to have the full black page. So that might be the way to go. And that's the updates for this binder. It ends with the Unforgiven pop-up. Okay, and here's the new same binder, another two inch binder. They already put on the little cat there. I think I have an extra one that I just haven't adjusted the first one with, but an exciting update in the Daikon section. I did manage to get the Kazuha I was missing. I'm so excited. I was really freaking out about this one for a while because I just like could not find it. I ended up buying it with a set. I kind of bit the bullet. It wasn't terribly out of the price range, but because I just wanted one thing, it kind of was in a sense. However, I was able to sell most of the other things that were part of the set and I do still have some up for sale on my Instagram right now. I think I have an extra one of her little, uh, the little pop-up Polaroid cards, one of these, which is so cute. Maybe I should keep it and just like put it on my wall or something because it's so nice. But yeah, really happy to have found this. It's still the only one I saw and I haven't seen another one since. So I feel very fortunate that I did bite the bullet and secure it to finish off the whole Daikon Japan pop-up. There she is. I just love this section so much. I rarely put the girls like on their own pages. So it's, it's quite nice to see it like that, different perspective and the full Yunjin page, because that's fun. Are these new? I'm so sorry that I can't really remember what I've done, but I love my little scrapbook pages. This is new, this has gotta be new. A new adjustment that I did. I really wanted a better picture for Flame Rises, because it used to be this one. Oh my gosh, spoiler. <laughs> it used to be this one, but like, you're just like it's full just reflection of my camera right now it says flame rises on the side there and i just didn't really like it as the cover page so this is from the sticker set i just cut out around it and i think it looks really good i did have two more of these and i was kind of sad i think when i mounted them but i couldn't showcase the backs because i loved them so now i'm able to do that and i really like how this looks so that i was able to have that extra page from the front and put this as like the closing statement this is from Flame Rises. I put Flame Rises first because they went on tour during the release of Unforgiven Japan and they announced it before Unforgiven Japan released. So I decided to put it first, even though they did a lot of like promo, especially for the Japan concerts using the Unforgiven Japan concepts. So these are tickets holders from the Osaka concert. I was able to get this set from Akari Japan. I think there's two more sets. I'm going to see if I can secure them. This one was just a really good price, so I thought, why not? And the one of the only sheets that I don't own from Meow Cafe are the three pocket ones. So I have these like really flimsy ones from Amazon. They're not the worst, but they're not the best. They are like, they're just like super flimsy and a little cloudy i don't know if you can tell if meow cafe is three pockets they are out of stock right now so i'll wait in the future and i'm just glad that i have something in the meantime so i think i will just store these here for now they're really not too bad once they're like kind of stretched out these ones are a little more malleable i've also found but you can also see here they're not quite as long looks really good though yeah i'll hopefully get these in the future you can see that they're maybe more like bubbly too and they dent really easily but again amazon can be the way to go if you want to get more bang for your buck and just have more to store because the high quality meow cafe ones can get really expensive i like that i think it'll look good with if i'm able to get all of the sets eventually Okay, this I already put in here, so we are now on to Unforgiven Japan. I know I already released my Unforgiven Japan collection video, however, that video was... I just like wasn't prepared to store any of this stuff. I think I went over it, but I might have even cut it out of the video just because I just was like, ah, oh, there's no point, I don't know how I need this to look right now. It was stressing me out. <laughs> 
So I decided just to add it into this one. I guess this is like a inclusion heavy video. I hope you still enjoy it. But this is a poster that they had. A4 poster. I think it looks cool. So this is where I'm on the fence. I think I want to like mount the poster on a white piece of paper or black, whatever. Put this here and then these are seals from or sticker seals from the UMS exclusive. Put these down the side there. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I also haven't decided. So that's why I haven't done anything with it yet. Let me know what you think. That's the one I'm not putting away right now. I have these from the Summer Smash, Summer Splash event last year in Japan. I really like these, so I think I want them like this. I really wanted them all on one page. Did I? Oh no! Why do I have two of these, you guys? What if I'm losing it? I can't remember what I wanted to do. This is the problem with preparing so long ago. Okay, I have like one reference photo. I took one only, not smart, of what I think I did. Like I set up all the pages I need, like I did something. Okay, I think I put Inches here. And I'm pretty sure I put one of these here. Then I have these left. I feel like this is an extra. So I wonder if I did this. Just because it's like two concepts, two concepts there. And then on the back, I kind of like mix them up. So what's next? I'm pretty sure I did some like back-to-back -back stuff like this and then those two on the back and then these stickers here. I'm pretty sure that's what I decided to do like this. So these stickers are from the solo jackets. They're just so cute. I love them as like full-on four cuts. So I decided that I really wanted to display them. And then these I think are from the pop-up store event in Japan. They're just photos from the, from the sets. Really like that kind of stuff. And I swear I have something that goes here, but I don't see it. I'm actually really confused because it should be this, be this image, but in a small format. So it can fit there. It's in my photo reference. I have one photo reference. Where is it? Up to my photo reference again. These are switched. I do think it looks better like that. Wait, it was like this. Well, you know what? Just as always, we're gonna pop everything away. We're gonna store it and then I will fix it later and then show it at another time. That's probably the best thing to do because <laughs> I'll probably properly mount those two on there. At a loss for where that one is. Hope I didn't lose it. Anyways, here we are. I think that works. I think that's fine. We're on to this page. So this page is going to be, there's this random sticker and I can't remember what it is, but it's from some pre-order benefit in Japan. I have all these like clear cards. These are from the, the Yateshita Park. Like it was some like shopping event. I thought these were so cool. Oh, right there. Miyashita. There we go. I thought these were just the coolest things. They look so neat. And then we have the Target exclusive. The large card. I think this way would look better. I might want to mount these or get like white backing top loaders. They're a little bit wide though. They don't quite fit a top loader. I think I want this one up there too. The inclusions from this era are kind of a mess. I don't know if you can tell based on the different sizing things, especially compared to even just the last Japan comeback. 
They're kind of all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, apparently we're moving on and I'm just missing that sticker. What? Oh no, I'm gonna have to go look for it. It looks like this. If you see it, let me know. Did it fly out somewhere? We are on to the list here. Wait, is that it? What? Why is it there? I see it. That's totally it, isn't it? See? What? Okay, whatever. We're moving on. The Seraphim Special Cafe. So I got this like clear folder. However, it is too big to fit in any of these. I'm thinking about just punching holes in it. I don't have a hole puncher right now, but I think that's just the best way to go. I really like it as a cover to like the special cafe section. Let me know if that is completely not okay, but for now that's what that is there for. First up, I have all of my little tickets, special cafe tickets. Those are kind of a tight fit. I might just, I don't know. I think that's the best solution for them though. I think I'll just leave them like right at the top like that because pushing them down further feels sketchy. So we'll just do that and then if I want to adjust later, I can. I do think they look good. I'll just need something here. Maybe I can print something off. Special cafe. These were reservation bonuses for the special cafe that they had in Japan. I don't think I've said any of that yet, but that's what they are. I just looked through my videos. I thought I had done an unboxing of special cafe, but I don't think I did. So sorry for kind of glazing over it. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but yeah, this was an event in Japan. They had a little cafe, it was super cute, and they released some merch that was online only for Japan weavers, where that guy's from, and then these you had to get in person. I got them off Makari Japan. Okay, we're gonna pop this back where I said it was supposed to go, which is on the back here. Okay, this page must be the coasters. So also from the cafe, you had to go to get these. These were coasters that you bought with drinks and then, or food, I can't remember which. And then these were like a special message card you could also get randomly with either the drinks or food. This was one of each, I believe. It seemed like a really cool event. My One of my like mutuals was in Japan at the time and they, they went, I, I told them about it. And I was so jealous. They sent me pictures though, which was really sweet of them. So again, I don't have anything to go there because there are only five members. We have stickers. I decided to put them at the front, not totally sure why because I'm still missing two. So these were from when you ordered online, you got them randomly. And I don't think like really anybody knew that they were coming because I had, I found no information about it. I ended up buying these two. I bought all three on Macari and then I pulled this one because I happened to order some things like through buy specifically from the actual website. And I haven't been able to find the other ones and then one day chain ones randomly popped up and I bought it and I was really excited and I, okay, I'm lying. I could find Unche's, but I was really concerned about buying it because it was part of like a big set that I wasn't, it just didn't feel justified, but I found Che ones for a really good price one day. And then I went back to see if Unche's was still there and it was gone and I have not been able to see it. So yeah, I don't know about that, but hopefully I do get them one day. They're so cute. And then the members had these little like, little stickers, little random stickers that you could buy as well. I think they're just so cute and sweet. And then these are like the character pop cards from Unforgiven Japan era. I didn't really have a place for them. You know I hate them yellow backs, so we're gonna pop them on the backs of these. And I'll have to think of something for these. I think I'm probably gonna mount them and then put like a one of their symbols on the back or something like that. There we go. It's not perfect, but it works. That's kind of cute. I'll have to fix the yellowness at some point because it bothers me, you know that, but I think it's good for now. So the next things are the postcards. So these like I haven't even opened yet, but they are supposed to be back to back. Maybe I did open one or it was already opened. 
and put back like that. But you have one image on the front and then another image on the back. Two different postcard sets in here. You might have peeked it, it was sitting over here because I didn't do a good job of hiding it, but I do have a perfect night postcard from the broadcast era. I'm so excited about this, it's so cool. Yeah, very grateful to have this. And since I only have one and I do really want to be able to see the back, I thought that putting it here would be the best idea right before the perfect night section, as you can see. Oh yeah, I think I want to do it that way so I can read it. And then as for these, I wonder if just putting them on the backs of these would be the best. Like one and one, because the backs are not, they're nothing, they're just white. So doing like this. Because I do have this. And I have... Oh, I have five of them because I did think I wanted to maybe do like a full page. So I have five. I guess I can and just pop one here so that it's like it's a bit of a mix of Perfect Night Era. Or I could even put this here. I don't know. I don't really love like books and it is the same image. So I think that will do. I'm not sure I like it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. As you can... I'm sure you've already peeked. This is the perfect night section. Um, I did also get the file folder here. Same issue as the other one. There is no sleeve to hold it. So I might have to poke holes. This one I am more reluctant to poke holes in because it's so pretty, but I think it'll just be best because I can't just have it floating around. That's just so tough. But for now it's okay and I just I love it. I love this era so much. We all do. This page here though, it's going to be all of these. I do have the full set. I was able to find them all. So grateful that I have this one. Oh my goodness. Obviously Che Wands. I got that one initially. Same with Yinjins and Sakuras, but I was able to find the other two I was missing. Kazoa and Unche's on Makari Japan and I sold my extras, which is awesome. So I think I have them in here rather than the three pockets. For one, the three pockets I have are not archival, I, so I did not want to put them in that. But also because these are like, you can see that they're quite like bubbled out. So I was thinking about just mounting them, but I think it'll be easier to tell what I want to do once I actually receive or am able to order some three pockets from Meow Cafe because I think that might be the best option because I don't have sleeves or anything for these but I also want to keep them just super nice and this is the only solution I have right now because if I mount them I'll have to like tape them in some way and I like I said I don't have sleeves whereas if I get the three pockets they should be just fine in there but then they might be like floating because they don't fully take up the space as you can see. So that's also why I was thinking maybe mounting them would look nicer because it would just be black behind it rather than seeing the same image poking through. But for now we are just gonna do it like that. Just so happy to have them, so grateful. We are on the Fimbity Bobbity Boo area. I did already put this in here. These can be kind of annoying to do when they're like the full A4 size, so I don't love doing it on camera. That is why it's there. Now I'm trying to figure out what else I was planning. I really think this went here. I'm trying to like look at my past self. Did I do decide to put this there? Probably. For sure, I know these are the little tickets from the Fimbity Bobbity Boo. I have two sets of them. I love inclusions like tickets. They are just so fun to me. And then my plan was to just take two extras, put them back to back, and then use the other ones as like actual bookmarks, I think. Perfect, full page. Okay, next I have some pre-order benefits from this book. 
But yeah, these will be great up here. So, and I do have two of these. These are Happy New Year little note cards for the Japan fan club members. And I have two, so I decided that maybe I could just store both. So we'll do that for now. Because now we're in Happy New Year. And the next are things from Season's Greetings. Okay, so this is where I fell off a little bit in terms of preparation, not like it's actually prepared me for anything, as you can see. But I know I have these from Weavers. Weavers pre-order benefits, these are so gorgeous. And then the pre-order benefits that was offered at most stores. This one I do remember because all the other stores just had the same thing, are these Polaroids, which I love. They're so cool. So I love how we have a day concept and a night concept here. I do have two of these, so I was considering doing two pages, but I think this is just the best for now. I have this as well, which I think might just not even go in here. Okay, I'm willing to bet that I wanted this as the title page. I feel like I loved it when I was looking at it in the unboxing. So I think that'd be great, because then I can do this on that front page. Yes! Oh, I think that would look so good newspaper edit we have these things here and then we have the pages for the mini posters as well i wonder if putting this at the end would be better to like cap off this section i think so yeah i actually really like that it's like mini posters we're done but i think i should mount these I don't love how floaty they are. Okay, and then the other thing that I clearly didn't prepare for was the rest of the inclusions for this. So I have the the greeting card here, and then I have all of their little Polaroids, which I just love. These are so cute. And then I have their postcards, which are also super nice. I do have an unboxing of this up, so not being that in depth, and then another greeting card, because I did get two of these to get the pre-order benefits. But I am not prepared for this, so I think I'm just going to do the lazy thing and pop them in here. And then we'll get to them when we get to them, because I think this is the most I can handle right now with this binder without it being the entire video, even though I know it already is. So let's go take a look at the new additions that I will probably be making look better the next time you see this. I think starting from here is best. Unforgiven Japan. These things are gonna go here. Maybe I should just pop them behind too. Based on the way I have put everything else away, doing them like the way I showed it initially probably is the best bet. Summer Splash, more of these. Not sure about this. I generally don't love duplicates like that unless it's the whole page. So still thinking about that. I think this is the best this page can be. I don't love mixing concepts like that, but it's just, I feel like I just have to. Also the best that this can be here. One day, one day. Actually kind of love that. Need something for here, need something for here. I think this is the best this can be too. I, I mean, I wonder if I could turn them around as well. I'll play with that. Might upgrade this in some sense. I think I'll upgrade this. The best it can be for right now. Oh, perfect night, what an era. Bimbity bobbity boo This will go here. I think I'll pop it in there so it doesn't come flying out when I move the binder. Perfect. Perfection. We have perfect page. Might switch these around in some way. Need to do that. Probably will mount these. There we go. Okay, wow. Still a lot of space in the binder, which is love to see it because as you can tell by this upload date and my other videos, it is well past easy era. A lot more has to go in these binders. So 
glad to have the space. So not sure about you, but I am ready to move on to another binder. <laughs> Before moving on, I do have a few updates in this binder here, the collab binder. Okay, I have this here. So this is a mist sticker sheet that came with a Japanese magazine. I'll probably be popping it here at a different time when I can make it or whatever. And I expect this to move around a lot. They do often do these like sticker collaborations. So I, I assume it's going to have to keep growing. However, I know that this is Fearless Era, so it does go way at the front here. We also have more for the Goobean stuff. They released this cute little cute cute thing. Look at this little zip case. These are stickers. They look like temporary tattoos, but they're stickers. So the whole chicken thing, chicken and pizza. Yeah, they're really, they're really sweet. Little tiny stickers of the girls. Oops. And Unche, and I'll just be popping them in this here. Kind of just sweet little floating heads. And it also came with a group one. This one is too big for those, but I figure you can just go on one of these pages since both of those are visible. So I'll just throw it on the front one here. There we are. I know I have an update for Sakura too. Yes. So she is the new ambassador for Primera. It's a skincare company and they released this really cute calendar. So I got this off Makari Japan as well. And it also came with a washi tape set. Little stamp kind of washi tape images of her. So I took one of each and put them on just white cards there to display. That one's very cute. And then there's just the primer one up close and then another primer one, and then the rest are all the same. So I thought that'd be a good way to display them. Oh, love that. Love that. More for Sakura. And then some updates here for Kazuha. She has the most stuff, which is so fun. I think she is done with the door now, but I do have another pamphlet like this, as well as a uh, actual collaboration thing. The file folder for it, I do have this. It is good, I do really like it. A sticker sheet, and then three little massive photo cards. I don't think I have any sleeves that fit these, but these are gorgeous. So I think my plan was to do this on the front here to match the other kind of pamphlets. The stickers on the back, so I can cover up those yellow sticker sheets. I'll mount it eventually. And then on this side, I really do want both to be visible, so I'm not sure what to do where I don't have to mount it. Maybe mount it on like clear plastic or something, because I would like to showcase it like this, because I do like that, like my fearless change, I think it's just really sweet. But then I also don't know what to do for the third one of these. could just get an image or something or what have you. But yeah, this is like the Lador section, I suppose. Then I am moving this back to this page to cover up that yellow. That's what it was always kind of intended for because I do have like a Kirsch little thing that I thought could match this side for the Kirsch for Unche section. She does have like another curse thing and I still am at a loss for that one. So this might be the permanent solution. Hopefully for the meantime, but we'll see. That's the Calamie section. And then now we are on, this has kind of become the like KCON extra stuff, whatever section here. So I do have something for this. It's also the KCON 2022, literally the same image as that, but it's an A4. And then I have something for here. This is the Mama 2023 Awards little thing. Goes right there. Love that this is complete. Whatever this is, it's complete. Yeah, really liking how this binder is shaping up. 
I, I just want to do a quick flip through. It's just so fun. The like, it just feels so random, which I think is why I think it's so fun. Like these random things that they come out with. It's so great. I do think Kazo is done with Etude as well. But isn't she? I don't know if she's still with Kirsch, but I think she's still with Calamy. And there we go. That's that one. So first off, this binder is going to be updated and then I'm taking this one out. You will see shortly what's going on with it. Therefore, this doesn't need to go in the back here. This can also move out. I guess this can go here. Sure. I might put it, I might put that one there. I love this car. This is my favorite. Yes. Yes. Excellent call. That's kind of, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's pretty random card anyways. These are also moving out. So I know I have very limited space in here. So I think for now, I'm just gonna pop things away and then reorganize it on my own when I'm like ready because the new easy white version of this binder it looks like literally the white version of this binder is on the way to me and i think that one is going to become kazuo's binder for me which i'm really excited about but i do have limited space in here right now from unforgiven japan and everything but i really really want to show off my perfect night photo card group photo card i am so 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 grateful to have this i got it from akari japan it is from the same like winner kind of thing that this one is from. So I believe it's called Line Music. This is the only perfect night thing that I have. So I am gonna just pop it here for now since I don't have another spot for it. But I know I'll want like a full page. So I did get these like Lomo cards. They really are just obviously fakes and stuff like that or not fakes. Like these cards don't really exist. They didn't really make them. These are just concept cards, and I'm probably just gonna do this with them. Maybe not that one, because it's like the same thing. Oh, I'll need to do something else. I'll have to think of something else. Or just this. Yeah, why not? First digital single. Well, that one will, this one I'll probably put at the top because it's special. I have these ones too. Do first digital single there, and then one of these down there. There we go, that's probably what I would do. accurate visualization of what it will look like but since these are lomos i'm not going to put them in there right now just because i don't know how much i'll need they're basically space holders space holders for nothing though and then i do have some other cards that i'm really excited about but i'm realizing i don't know if like many of them will fit i guess i can pop some on the backs but i have katon for you i think fearless kazuha That'll look good there. I have another Fearless Era one. Maybe this is K-Town for you. Pop it there. I have this like UMS Kazuha from Antifragile Era. These cards can go for so much. So I'm really grateful to have that. Maybe I will just like pop it in the Antifragile Era. And another one. I, I don't know what this one is. I think this one just like came with that one when I ordered it. And then we have some Unforgivens. I think this is also UMS. I think it's just so cute. And then this is a lucky draw. Maybe K-Town for you. And these ones that I'm so excited about. These I think are the two winner ones. Little Polaroids from Anti-Fragile Era. These are pretty tough to find. So super grateful to have them. And I'll pop these here too. So this is kind of like, this has become the group binder with Kazuha scattered everywhere. But I'll probably wait until I have the other binder in before fully redoing this. So just where they're living for now. All right, the big binder. An exciting anti-fragile update. I do have the cards that I'm gonna pop here. So I have all of the Blue Dream Media pre-order benefits. I really wanted another really pretty set to put here and I decided on this one and I was able to secure it easily enough. There are so many nice sets from this era and 
I was having a hard time finding ones that all looked pretty cohesive because Kasuwa's has a black background in, in all of them, obviously this one too, but she's like really far away and I think the power station one, like these are all like selfie shots, but in her power station it's like a full like waist up, like she's much farther from the camera. So I really wanted to try and get one where they looked more cohesive. So I settled on this set and I think it's super cute. Doesn't disappoint, look at that. Fluffy hat Chewon, oh so iconic. I love looking back on Anti-Fragile Era, it's just so... so satisfying. That's all that's gonna go in this binder for this video that's that update in here so i do have perfect night things however i decided not to put them in here since they do only take up one page and i just i don't know i don't like have this same kind of title page for perfect night era i decided to put them in the other new binder that i have that i'm going to show you in a second so as you know i started with these clear muji binders the like one inch muji binders and i have one for I recently put together the tour binder. My whole collection used to be in one of these, which is just like wild to look back on. And then I have the merch one, which is, as you can see, Polaroids and everything else. I have decided, I have one more, it's uh, the Japan comebacks too, I forgot about that. I have decided to fully split this one up and make a full on Polaroid binder and then put all the rest of the merch and other like kind of one-off things in this one. So I have a new, it's another Meow Cafe. This is the A5 wide binder. So we have the six slots. That is the plan. So I'm going to remove all of the non-Polaroid things from this binder and get ready to pop them into the new one. I just, I love Polaroids. And then I find that this can be like, Jarring isn't the right word, just like different. It's just like different even though I'm looking through like a Polaroid book. So that's kind of why I've decided to do it, kind of split it all up. And then those perfect night ones I was showing you, I think I'm going to put those in there for now as well. And just, just for the time being since they do take up such little space anyways, I will remove the extra pages at a different time because these are staying. They are Polaroids. But this was another area that I was like... Why, what do I put here? Like what goes with them and things like that? Because these sets only have one-offs from the membership as well as the day off in Jeju. These will be moves. These are just gonna go into the tour binder. I consider Fear Not a Tour, but I'm very excited to have the six pocket for this. For whatever reason, there are 12 card total of these guys and I had such a time. I feel like you were there. You remember, you know the struggle I had when I was figuring out how to display these. And now I don't have to think about it anymore. It'll be easy peasy. And then same with this page. This page always kind of bothered me because I don't have anything that looks like that would match these. And then same with the daikon. I was like, I do love how these look and they match together and things type A at least. Type B, I have an issue with because three sets are beautiful together, and then one set I just feel like does not match top to bottom. And then I have this random set here, so I'm gonna take out these as well and put them in the merch binder. And if they keep doing stuff like this, I'm gonna need like a magazine binder. introducing the new binder. Ugh, I feel like I did not prepare enough for this video, but I tried, I tried. Okay, so let's do, I think it makes the most sense to do season's greetings first. So before I decided to get this binder, I actually did get another set of these because I wanted to showcase the other side. They're double-sided and I just like, I felt like the other side was never being appreciated. So I'm trying to see how I can like split them up. I think it makes the most sense to put these in first. I mean, like, it does feel like I don't really need this second set now, but they're also really pretty. 
Okay, now let's do this set here, the If You're Not membership. And then I'll be able to pop this card here. Oh, yes, and then I have these extras as well. I have another one, so I can find it and put it here too. That looks really good like that. And then yeah, I have another one I can pop there. This is Day Off in Jeju. And then we'll do these ones. guys get their own little page. Let's do all of the daikon ones next. I'm gonna bit. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Sorry. I have the QQ Music Perfect Night photo cards. Love this. It's such a gorgeous set. I do have an unboxing on my channel as well, so check it out if you would like to see that. Very grateful to have these. These are precious cards for sure. And I think I just, I want them in here for now. I do see myself moving them, but for now, I think this is where they can live. I still just can't get over the missed opportunity of like a trading card set with Perfect Night. Ah, okay. Next, I have the Fimidi Poppity Boo photo book photo cards. These are so pretty. They're super cute. I really like them. And they'll be going next. I'm pretty sure I've been doing this chronologically. Let me know if you think I have something out of order. I will let you know I am getting pretty tired. I am filming this like after work, after like a really busy day, but the sun's out, it's gorgeous. I have great lighting. It seemed like a good time. This is another one that I did post a review of and upload on my channel. This year's membership kit. It's gonna look so nice with this on the other side. I love that. We have another card there. Since it does have my name and like number on the back, I will be covering it up with this for now. I'll probably change it to something like white in the future. But yeah, I love these just holding little blue hearts and they're all wearing blue. It's so cute. And the last set I have in here is the Seasons Greeting set. Another thing I did upload on my channel. Love these. These are also super pretty. They really do remind me of this set in a lot of ways. I mean, different hair colors, but similar vibes to me, which I love. And that's it. Let's do a flip through. Ooh, it feels a lot nicer once it has stuff in it. So we have 2023 Seasons Greetings, two sets, I guess. We are not membership, 2023, Day Off of Jeju. We have merch items. We have Daydream Believers. We have the magazine sets here. I'm definitely gonna make some like fillers or something to go down there. I think that will look the best. So cute. Perfect night. I do already think I wanna move it to the regular binder just cause I don't know, it makes more sense, but I'll do that on my own time. Love those cards, love these cards. Oh, love all of them. You get it. And lots of space for growth in here. But that is it. That is the update. I think this might be a pretty long video. Thank you so much for your patience if you made it to the end, for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions on the things I asked about, as well as if you have any suggestions for the way I display things, if you have any ideas. I know a lot of you have helped me in the past with other stuff, so I love that and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>